All right, so I've just finished transferring over some of the headlines and paragraphs from my Word document. And now I'm at the section where I'm going to be putting testimonials. So with this sales page template, uh, they already have a section for you uh, to put your testimonials and the picture of the person giving the testimonial. All right, so let's start with the testimonial headline. Let's go to my Word document and the headline is, you don't have to take my word for it. So I'll just paste that onto here, click save. And I'm going to transfer these sentences onto here. Okay, so basically it says, I've already slipped the secret to select group of people, blah, blah, blah. Let me just format this here. And click Save. Okay, so the first testimonial, I'm going to put in the person's name, testimonial giver's name. Let's just call her Julie. Jackson and her testimonial let's just say will be product is awesome now of course this is just a demo I'm not actually going to be selling this product so these are just fake testimonials this is just for demonstration purposes okay now if we go here well let's just we could just click on the entire box here or click on this icon here and you could change the image and by now you should know how to change the image as I've shown it already and you could also go to advanced and you could change the layout say from text image to image text so I've already shown that for the introductory section but let's just put it back to the default okay I'm gonna click on save and again here Okay, now it looks like the testimonial actually goes here. So let me just edit this part here. Product is awesome. Okay. And I guess under the name, I'll just put uh, their occupation. Okay, so product is awesome. And now for the next person's testimonial. I learned a lot and his name is Ted Smith public speaker click on save now I'm just going to increase the font so by now if you've been watching these videos, you can see that using ClickFunnels is very easy. Okay, so that's it for the testimonial section. And let me just see what I have to do next after this. Okay, so after the testimonials, it's just more headlines and paragraphs, which you should already know how to do. I've shown that in my previous videos. So I'm not going to record myself doing that. And in the next video, after I've done adding these without recording myself, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you, let's see here, I'll just show you adding the buy button. And I think that will be the last thing I will show you for this sales page. But we will see, okay? But for now, let me work on the next paragraphs and headlines, and I'll see you in the next video.